Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 14. In the second year of Yoash, son of Yahu Ahaz, king of Yashadael, reigned Amatz Yahu, the son of Yoash, king of Yahuda. He was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and reigned twenty and nine years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Yahu Adin of Yerushalayim. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah, yet not like David his father. He did according to all things, as Yoash his father did. Howbeit, the high places were not taken away, as yet the people did sacrifice and burnt incense on the high places. And it came to pass, as soon as the kingdom was confirmed in his hand, that he slew at his servants, which had slain at the king his father. But at the children of the murderers he slew not, according unto that which is written in the Sefer of the Torah of Moshe, wherein Yahuwah commanded, saying, The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, nor the children be put to death for the fathers. But every man shall be put to death for his own sin. He slew of Eth Edom in the valley of salt ten thousand, and took Eth Chila by war, and called Eth the name of it Yochthael unto this day. Then Amatz Yahu sent messengers to Yahu Ash, the son of Yahu Achaz son of Yahu, king of Yashadael, saying, Come, let us look one another in the face. And Yahu Ash, the king of Yashadael, sent to Amatz Yahu, king of Yahuda, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give eth your daughters rather your daughter to my son, to be his woman. And there passed by a wild beast that was in Lebanon, and trod down at the thistle. You have indeed smitten at Edom, and your heart has lifted you up. Glory of this, and tarry at home. For why should you meddle to your hurt, that you should fall, even you, and Yahuda with you? But Amat Yahu would not hear. Therefore, Yahu Ash, king of Yashadael, went up, and he and Amat Yahu, king of Yahuda, looked one another in the face at Beit Shemesh, which belongs to Yahuda. And Yahuda was put to the worse before Yashadael, and they fled, every man to their tents. And Eth Yahu Ash, king of Yashadael, took Amat Yahu, king of Yahuda, the son of Yahu Ash, the son of Ahaz Yahu, at Beit Shemesh, and came to Yerushalayim, and broke down the wall of Yerushalayim, from the gate of Ephraim unto the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took eth all the gold and silver, and eth all the vessels that were found in the house of Yahuwah, and eth in the treasures of the king's house, and hostages, and returned to Shomoron. Now the rest of the acts of Yahuash, which he did, and his might, and how he fought with Amat Yahu, king of Yahuda. Are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael? And Yahu Ash slept with his fathers and was buried in Shomoron with the kings of Yashadael. And Yaravom, rather Yaravam, his son, reigned in his stead. And Amatyahu 
the son of Yaash, king of Yahuda, lived after the death of Yahuash, son of Yahu Ahaz, king of Yashadael, fifteen years. And the rest of the acts of Amatsyahu are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahuda? Now they made a conspiracy against him in Yarushalayim, and he fled to Lachish. But they sent after him to Lachish and slew him there. And they brought him on horses, and he was buried at Yarushalayim with his fathers in the city of David. And all the people of Yahuda took Eth Azar Yahu, which was sixteen years old, and made him king instead of his father, Amat Yahu. He built Eth Elath and restored it to Yahuda. After that, the king slept with his fathers. In the fifteenth year of Amat Yahu, the son of Yaash, king of Yahuda, Yaravam, the son of Yaash, king of Yashadael, began to reign in Shomoron, and reigned forty and one years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuah. He departed not from all the sins of Yaravam, and rather the son of Nevat, who made Eth Yashadael to sin. He restored Eth the coast of Yashadael from the entering of Hamath unto the sea of the plain, according to the word of Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, which he spoke by the hand of his servant, Yohan, rather, Yonah, the son of Amatai, the prophet, which was of Gath, Ha, Sefer. For Yahuwah saw at the affliction of Yashadael that it was very bitter, for there was not any shut up, nor any left, nor any helper for Yashadael. And Yahuwah said not that he would blot out Eth the name of Yashadael from under heaven, but he saved them by the hand of Yaravam, the son of Yaash. Now the rest of the acts of Yaravam, and all that he did, and his might, how he warred, and how he recovered at Damascus and at Hamath, which belonged to Yahuda, for Yashadael, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael? And Yaravam slept with his fathers, even with the kings of Yashadael, and Zarkar Yahu, his son, reigned in his stead.